Welcome back to YouTube channel Chemistry Live UGPG. Today we are going to talk about estimation of sodium carbonate using standard hydrochlor hydrochloric acid. So this will be highly beneficial for BSc Chemistry students on the CBCS syllabus. So I have a simple message for you guys. Please think for innovation, be creative, learn everywhere, anytime and help to learn others. So there is a disclaimer for this experiment. In this experiment, approximate data are used to give a flavor about the real experiment, calculation part and conclusion and better understanding about the experiment to the students. So if you carry out the real experiment, you will get your original data for your experiment and it may happen that the results may vary from person to person. So the aim of the experiment is estimation of sodium carbonate using standard hydrochloric acid. So what are the apparatus required? Burette with burette stand, prepared, prepared ball, conical flask, 50 ml graduated cylinder, wash bottle, beaker. So in chemistry we should know first what is estimation. So in chemistry estimation is the process of estimating the quantity of matter or molar concentration of chemical substance in a given solution by means of titration. So the quantity of matter is usually expressed in grams per liter or normality. And again the molar concentration that is usually the unit is moles per liter. So here are some apparatus that are used in titration experiment. Burette, burette stand, pipette, conical flask, beaker, volumetric flask, measuring cylinder, pipette ball, wash bottle, weighing machine, Bunsen burner, glass funnel, filter paper. So let's talk about what are the chemicals required. So first is sodium carbonate solution. N by 10 HCl solution that is the standard solution and methyl orange is the indicator. So let's talk about what is the theory or principle behind this titration. So this sodium carbonate usually the base react with HCl. So this is the acid. So base react with acid. So here sodium carbonate react with two moles of hydrochloric acid giving rise to salt and water. So it gives rise to 2NaCl plus water plus carbon dioxide. So this reaction takes place in the presence of indicator methyl orange and this reaction occurs in two steps. So in first step, sodium carbonate react with HCl giving rise to sodium bicarbonate plus NaCl. And in second step, sodium bicarbonate react with another equivalent of HCl giving rise to NaCl plus water plus carbon dioxide. So if we add 1 and 2 equation, we get the net reaction that is Na2CO3 plus 2 HCl giving rise to 2 NaCl plus water plus carbon dioxide. So this is the structure of methyl orange indicator which works in the pH range 3.1 to 4.4. So now next question arises why methyl orange indicator changes its color from yellow to light pink red color. So this is the structure. So in presence of base uh, sodium hydroxide. So this uh, proton of SO3H uh, that becomes the sodium salt SO3Na and which is yellow in color. So now the nitrogen here has lone pair of electron it will undergo resonance. So from benzenoid structure to it converted to quinoid structure. So that's why we get light pink red color. So let's discuss what is the procedure we need to adapt. So first we have to clean and rinse all the glasswares. Then pipette out 10 ml of given sodium carbonate solution into 250 ml conical flask. Then add two drops of methyl orange indicator to it. Then the color, the solution changes to yellow. Then titrate the solution against standard hydrochloric acid, n by 10 HCl solution taken in the burette. So here you have to note down the initial burette reading while loading the burette initially, with constant shaking until the yellow color changes to light pink color. So this is the end point of titration. At that point, you stop the titration and then take the burette reading that is the final burette reading FBR. So now take the difference in burette reading that is FBR minus IBR and let's say that is XML of HCl consumed in this titration. And you have to repeat the same titration for next three concordant readings. 
so whatever your titration value you have to write in a tabular form so this is the title of the tabulation titration of sodium carbonate solution against n by 10 hcl solution so here you have to write the number of observations 1 2 3 4 and the volume of sodium carbonate taken 10 ml each time and here you have to write down initial burette reading and here you have to write down final burette reading at the end point of titration and get the difference so this will be the rough reading and next three titrations will give rise to three concordant readings so here are some dummy results so you can see here the rough reading 17.6 and next three concordant readings for next three experiments you get 16.9 so that means 16.9 ml of uh, n by 10 SCL consumed for the 10 ml of uh, supplied sodium carbonate solution let's talk about calculation so the strength of SCL we know that is 0.1 or n by 10 and volume of SCL consumed is 16.9 ml from titration Let's say the strength of sodium carbonate is x normal, that is N2. And volume of sodium carbonate used in the titration, that is 10 ml. Okay. So, by using the equation V1N1 equal to V2N2, we can find out the strength of sodium carbonate, that is found to be 0 0.169 normal. So, in conclusion, the actual strength of supplied sodium carbonate solution was found to be 0 0.169 normal. So in another way also we can find out how much amount of sodium carbonate present in the supplied solution. So this is the basic equation you have to use 1000 ml of 1 normal SCL equal to 1000 ml of 1 normal sodium carbonate that is equal to 53 grams of sodium carbonate. So this is the equivalent uh, weight of uh, sodium carbonate. So that means if we dissolve 53 grams in 1 liter of uh, solution we get 1 normal sodium carbonate solution. So by using this equation we can find out 1 ml of 1 normal SCL equal to 53 by 1000 grams of sodium carbonate. So 1 ml of n by 10 SCL equal to so this much gram and from titration we have consumed x ml that is 16.9. So 16.9 ml of n by 10 SCL equal to into x. So this much grams of sodium carbonate is present in the 10 ml supplied solution. So 1 ml of supplied solution will contain so divided by 10 and then 1000 ml of supplied solution will contain so this will be this 0.53 into x so x is here 16.9 so that becomes 8.957 grams of sodium carbonate so in conclusion the supplied solution contains 8.957 grams per liter of sodium carbonate so please subscribe to our channel chemistry live ugpg this is also available in the website www.chemistryliveugpg.com for class 11th and 12th students this is the channel uh, foundation chemistry av so this is a simple step towards e-learning make, making life better so thank you all for learning